this video is about phylogeny and ontogeny of immune system evolution of adaptive immune system earlier we learned cell mediated this one is about adaptive immune system and this particular study was developed by apc pachala team msrd and i would like to express my sincere gratitude to the developing team of this note thank you so much so now let's have a quick introduction effective recognition and elimination of foreign pathogens was already in existence in lower animals before the evolution of cured vertebrates the thing that adaptive immunity built on structurally similar molecules that were already present and part of the host defense innate immune function adaptive immunity being highly specific and diverse arose later in evolution than innate immunity in an ancestor of present age order to breed four factors may have been responsible for the evolution of adaptive immune system rapid evolution of microorganisms to evade immune system of host appearance of specialized parasitic platform host parasite coevolution whole genome duplications causing genome stability and balanced genome may cause cancer and increase the metabolic rates of vertebrates capable of causing oxidative damage to dna hence there was strong selection for detecting or fighting against newly evolved parasite as well as monitoring altered aberrant self cells leading to the evolution of adaptive immune system adaptive immunity has not replaced innate immunity but continues to be present along with it and working in close association with innate branch to provide better protection to the organisms adaptive immune system requires signals from innate immunity for its activation big bang theory has been proposed to indicate the appearance of adaptive immunity in jawed vertebrates in a relatively short span of time about 15 million years this assumption is based on reports that a large number of genes functioning in adaptive immunity were acquired over a short evolutionary period basic components which lead to the evolution of adaptive immune system include appearance of lymphocytes acquisition of mechanisms for diversification of antigen binding receptors evolution of transcriptional and translational control mechanisms for restriction of expression of single receptor specificity to an individual's immune cell receptor selection and clonal expansion affinity maturation and processes regulating immune response breakage and repair of dna forms the fundamental basis of conventional adaptive immunity and rag complex works in association with the dna repair proteins important in non homologous endotoins dna repair mechanisms are not only present in invertebrates but in almost all species such as yeast which are rather phylogenetically quite distinct distinct immunoglobulins produced through heavy chain class which require secondary biological function then introduction evolution of immune evasion mechanisms in microbial pathogens at a much faster rate and appearance of helminth parasites around 450 to 500 may lead to an arms race between the pathogens and host organisms this posed a challenge to the innate immune mechanisms which rely on responses generated by slowly evolving genes present in the germline <coughs> this may have led to the evolution of an immune system which could target the evading <coughs> invading pathogens more specifically it may have become possible in gnatostomes by two macro evolutionary events tag transposon invading the genome and two whole genome duplications duplication of genetic material provides the raw sequence upon which forces of natural selection can act and generate great diversity possession of adaptive immunity along with innate defense mechanisms confers an additional advantage to the organisms as it has the attribute of specificity diversity and memory adaptive immunity did not replace innate immunity because the latter is capable of provi- providing fast response in containing infection till such time that adaptive immunity takes over components of innate immunity also play an important role in activating various constituents of adaptive immunity various studies point to the fact that adaptive immune system has made use of a number of molecules and pathways already in use for innate immunity in addition to acquisition of new cell types and chemical mediators many new immune mechanisms evolved in jawed vertebrates such as control of induction regulation and resolution of inflammatory responses specific activation of antigen restricted lymphocytes 
need for specific anatomical location secondary lymphoid organs slo where closer contact and hence better interaction between lymphocytes and antigen could be achieved a clear understanding of various aspects of immune system in different organisms might help researchers discover certain mediators which may be used therapeutically evolution of adaptive immunity cells and organs of adaptive immunity cells playing a role in adaptive immunity include b lymphocytes t lymphocytes and antigen presenting cells or apcs an evolutionary innovation occurred within this chordate lineage with the appearance of t and b lymphocytes with special attributes these cells are endowed with not only recognition specific specificities but also specific effector functions and mechanism of proliferation life spans of t cells are tightly regulated linking antigen recognition to immune response tolerance and immunological memory it is not known exactly when during evolution the lymphocytes appeared as a specialized type of immunocompetent cells different subsets of lymphocytes with special membrane receptors for antigen recognition by the leucine rich repeats lrr are first bounding jawless fish however these lymphocytes are quite different from the ones found in cartilaginous and bony fish which have c bcr immunoglobulin and tcr on their b and t lymphocytes respectively genes for transcription factors needed in lymphocyte development such as spib icaros b ebf gatta pax 258 and batch 2 are found in egg in athens as well as gnathros tombs presence of somewhat similar genes in most primitive vertebrates and even eurocordates are suggestive of ancient origin of these genes the lymphocytes may have evolved from an ancestral phagocytic cell type as suggested by a number of reports which indicate morphological and functional parallels between mammalian b i d cells and fish igm bearing b cells upon direct actuation by number of pamcs both of them can act innately innately secrete igm both exhibit the property of phagocytosis and intracellular killing and both of them can be induced to produce antigen specific igm this internalization of the particle was found to occur in a bcr independent fashion therefore it is hypothesized that b ib cell lineage evolved from igm bearing b cells of ectoderm and the b to b cell lineage emerged later in evolution specializing gradually a play a role in adaptive immunity predominantly several studies have also shown that mammalian bib cells evolved recovered from peritoneal cavity can efficiently present non opsonized phagocytosed particulate antigen to cd4 plus c cells this study suggests the possibility of bib b1b forming a link between innate and adaptive <coughs> immune system t lymphocytes it is thought that nc cells that present remnants of an ancient immune system and may be the evolutionary precursors of b cells in the feet, human fetus first lymphocyte lineage to appear as that of nk cells next to appear are the gamma delta t cells followed by alpha beta t cells cytotoxic t cells cd8 plus use the same killing mechanisms as employed by nk cells perforin granzyme and fas ligands next step may have been the development of helper t cells cd4 plus professional dendritic cells bc macrophages b cells non professional fibroblast skin glial cells of brain pancreatic beta cells thymic epithelial cells thyroid epithelial cells and vascular endothelial cells in antigen presenting cells or apcs take up the pathogen degrade it and present the processed antigenic peptide in association with mhc class 2 molecules to cd4 plus t cells specialized apcs appear to have evolved at the same time as the lower vertebrates immune cells arise and differentiate in primary lymphoid organ plo and encounter antigen and become effector and memory cells in secondary lymphoid organ slo as can be seen lower vertebrates do not show the presence of well defined primary bone marrow and thymus in mammals so immune cells arise and differentiate in primary lymphoid organ and encounter antigen and becoming effect, become effector and membrane cells in secondary lymphoid organ as can be seen in table 2 lower vertebrates do not show the presence of well defined primary bone marrow and thymus in mammals and secondary lymphoid organ spleen and lymph nodes in mammals there has been a gradual evolution of these organs allowing the host to mount a better immune response jawless fish lacks true thymus and lm and hematopoiesis occurs in 
gill filament and kidney so cartilage is fish have thymus as tpl and split as tslo but no bone marrow and l lens b cell development taking place in epigonal organs bony fish possess thymus and kidney as tlo and spleen and gut associated lymphoid tissue as slo so being no l lens or germinal centers <coughs> amphibians have thymus and spleen and cell differentiation occurs in bone marrow in our pipins and liver and spleen in xenopus subtails have thymus bone marrow as plo and spleen and gall for slo birds have thymus and brisa fabricius as plo and spleen gall and hadrian glands as slo primary lymphoid organ and secondary lymphoid organ jawless fish no true thymus gill filament for hematopoiesis of elra plus lymphocytes and typhlozoola and or kidney for vlrb lymphocyte development lymph nodes absent cartilaginous fishes thymus present but lack bone marrow b cell development in leddic and epigonal organs spleen present but lacks lymph nodes no germinal centers or pears patches then bony fish thymus and kidney spleen gall and kidney no gcs lns pps amphibians thymus b cell differentiation in liver and spleen in xenopus and in bone marrow in r pipins plain present but no gc ln and pp reptiles like that in comparison to birds and mammals as antibody affinity maturation in fish amphibians and reptiles is rather poor due to the absence of ln and gc receptors of adaptive immunity if we have to trace the evolution of adaptive immunity we have to look for the molecular markers such as ig PCR, MHC, and the machinery for generating a vast diversity of receptors. Recombinase activating gene products that rearrange VN elements and terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase (TDT) that creates the non-templated junctional N regions. They appear in lower vertebrates and invertebrates or jawless fishes. Do not show homologs of any of these other molecules. Rag1 and Rag2, the genes responsible for rearranging antigen receptor genes, have been postulated to have originated as a retrotransposon. Within the jawed vertebrates, it has been found that Rag1 is very well conserved but has not been detected in the ancestors of the jawed vertebrates. Recombination signal sequence, flanking V, D, and J, rearranging segments show the presence of inverted repeats, suggest that a transposon. has invaded a gene which codes for immunoglobulin superfamilies this gene could not be expressed unless the recombinase stitches it back together tremendous diversity of bcr and tcr in the jawed vertebrates is generated by addition of n region at the gene element <coughs> junction in ig and tcr genes terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase and non template encoded nucleotides during the rearrangement of bcr and tcr in jawless fish however adaptive immunity is achieved by lymphoid cell based system in which variable lymphocyte receptor gene family codes for rearranging receptors the mature vlr gene contains variable number of lrr modules which also have variable sequence conferring a great overall diversity to the vlr region approximately 10 to 14 combinations two vlr genes vlra and vlrb expressed only in lymphoid cells have been described in lampreys and upon antigenic challenge clonal expansion of lymphoid cells expressing specific vlrb molecules has been reported in a manner somewhat similar to that shown by b cell secreting immunoglobulins secreted vlrb molecules as subunit organization occurring as pentamers or dimers with 8 to 10 antigen binding sites resembling igm antibodies so vlrb molecules are able to bind antigens with high agility and specificity causing their agglutination lymphoid cells functionally similar to t cells express vlra only in a cell bound form this study is point to the fact that there are two populations of lymphoid cells which represent t and b cells of jawed vertebrates thus it appears that two lineage of lymphoid cells had emerged before the divergence of jawed and jawless vertebrates Phylogenetic studies reveal the number of variations in the pattern of assembly of BCR and TCR genes in different jawed vertebrates. BCR isotype 
the first ig isotype to appear during phylogeny ontogeny and the immune response to igm and represents the first line of host defense to pathogens in all gnathostomes cartilaginous fish secrete monomeric igm with higher binding affinity although these variations are seen in fish igm generally shows reserved features over evolutionary time so in teleost fish plasma blasts and plasma like cells localized in head kidney secret igm and no immunoglobulin class switch occurs furthermore igm response show poor affinity maturation and take much lower to longer to develop according to one study 3 to 4 weeks as against a few day required by mammals igd like isotype has been reported in the ancestor of all gnathostomes but its structure and functions have varied over evolutionary time majority of the teleost fish studied so far reveal co expression of igd and igm on b cells a variety of b cell subsets have been demonstrated some b cell express some b cell expressing igt named so in a rainbow trot or expressing igz named so in zebra fish multimeric form of igt present in gut mucus have been indicated in mucosal immunity functionally analogous to iga antibody class of mammals IgG and IgE originate from an isotype known as IgY which appears first in amphibians with function similar to that of IgG. Certain variations of this molecule can possibly arise due to alternative splicing. IgA first appears in reptiles performing similar functions in all animals. In lower animals, mucosal immunity is achieved by another isotype, IgX. IgG of analytes does not associate with light chains and is variable region interact with antigen. There's multiple isotypes with the distinct effective functions are seen in vertebrates. B cell receptor light chains. Genomic studies have revealed that both the light chains lambda and kappa arose early in the common ancestors of all vertebrates. B cell heavy chains. Arrangement of BCRH chain genes allow shows the organization called the translocone and this arrangement is seen from fish to mammals. In this organization, multiple region occur upstream of multiple B and J segments and then occur single genes which code for constant C region. A single V gene out of 10 to 1000 V genes is rearranged to the A single V gene out of 10 to thousands of V gene is rearranged to the downstream V and J segments. Cartilaginous fish have IG genes in a cluster form with a single V, B, J and C genes in each cluster showing RAG mediated rearrangement within each cluster. Junctional diversity is generated at VD, BD and BJ are the enhancement joints and by somatic hypermutation when B cells are stimulated by antigen. L chains lack D segments but otherwise show similar pattern of rearrangement. In bony fish the organization of L chain genes can be translocon or cluster and suggest the possibility of very expressive rearrangement of light chain genes of LCR in all fish. Amphibians which show mammalian like Ig, Hj and locus are the two are the first to exhibit Hj in class of fish. No switching shown by cartilaginous fish and thus show a major transition from the adaptive immune system of fish. This is very advantageous as a single B cell has acquired the capacity to secrete molecules with the different effective functions as well as memory response. MSC molecules of adaptive immunity. In order to identify cells harboring intracellular pathogen which cannot be identified by antibodies, evolution of T cells has proceeded in such a way that both the self component, infected cells of the host and the microbial structure can be recognized by T cells. Solution to this problem came in the form of evolution of MSC molecules also called the human leukocyte associated HLA antigens. Studies of Zinger, Nagel and Doherty showed that specific antigen is recognized by T cells only when presented in association with a specific self MHC molecule. A very important biologic consequence of this requirement by T cell is that it allows T cells to specifically work against only those cells which harbor intracellular pathogen processing of which result in antigenic peptide and ignore free extracellular antigen. So antigenic peptides presented by MHC class 1 molecule are recognized by cytolytic T cell because of alpha 3 domain of the class 1 heavy chain interacts with CD8 molecule on cytolytic T cells. CD4 plus T cells play a very crucial role in controlling the variation of effective cells of innate as well as adaptive immunity such as B cells, CD8 plus T cells, macrophages, eosinophils and mast cells by secreting a number of cytokines. Hence nature has ensured that activation of CD4 plus T cells occurs in a tightly regulated way. The CD4 plus T cells require 
not only peptide complexity to MSC class 2 molecules presented on EPG but also cause stimulatory signal for acquisition adequate activation. This has been achieved by the evolution of B7 glycoprotein molecule on EPG and their ligand CD28 on T cells. A very important characteristic of HLA molecule is their very high degree of structural polymorphism and this enable different class 1 allele to bind different peptides. This is highly advantageous and the population level as there will be always be some individual capable of forming peptide MHA complex to bind to the TCR and save the population from experiencing high mortality. Evolution of polygenic MHC confers a great benefit to each individual since many different peptides can be bound by each class 1 protein with 6 peptide binding groups. Classical MHC molecules present process the antigens to T lymphocytes and this serve a very important role in mounting an effective immune response. Non-classical MHC molecules have been shown to play other functions such as iron homeostasis, HFE, processing of antigens, DM or presentation to cells other than T lymphocytes, HLAE, CPS derived placental cells which enter the uterine wall express MHC class 1B molecule HLAG but not classical MHC class 1 molecule. Lack of expression of MHC class 1 molecule by these cells allows them to avoid recognition by ED8 plus T cells. They are also spread attack by NK cells and as HLAG is recognized by inhibitory receptor ILT2 on the NK cell. Observations such as recognition of classical MHC molecules by NK cells and recognition of allogenic tissue grafts by innate immune systems suggest that in higher vertebrates MHC molecules seem to perform innate immune functions. So phylogenetic analysis seem to suggest that non-classical class 1 molecule of bony fish and the DM class 2 molecule were ancestors to MHC molecules. Furthermore, it has been suggested by some studies that as the present day DM molecules serve as chaperones in the pathway that load antigenic fragments onto classical class 2 MHC molecules, they may be considered a direct link to ancestral molecule. Class 2 MHC class 2 region contains a group of genes which function in inflammatory response and has members of the tumor necrosis family. Comparative analysis of this region by sequencing and annotation has revealed that a number of genes with similar function with this region within this region including TNF, APOM and BAT3 have remained clustered together for every 450 million years even before the divergence of mammals from fish. An effector response is of adaptive immunity. Newly evolved lymphocytes of vertebrates continue to perform functions of innate immunity alongside their acquisition of function in adaptive immunity. B lymphocytes express TLRs and show phagocytosis. BIB cells secrete germline encoded polyspecific IgM antibodies without antigenic stimulation. TLR7 and TLR9 <coughs> expressing plasma cytoid dendritic cells arise from lymphoid lineage and produce interferons alpha and beta which confer protection against the variety of viruses, bacteria and parasites. T lymphocytes produce interferon gamma. TLRs indirectly promote and regulate antibody and cell mediated responses via their activation of DC and other innate cells. Effect of TLRs in activating B and T lymphocytes can also be more direct. TLR4 on mouse B cells can bind LPS causing B cell proliferation and differentiation into plasma cells without the help of TH cells. Human B cells express TLR9 which gets activated by microbial DNA. The signaling from TH cells have been replaced by TLR resulting in faster response from B cells. And that immune response is mediated by antibodies, mediators of cytotoxic T cells and complement system cytokines released by helper T cells in development of memory cells. The number of cells with specificity for any individual pathogen or toxin is small. The responding cell needs to divide so as to mount an adequate response against the pathogen. This is the time taking step and for this reason expression of adaptive response occurs temporarily after the innate response. The most important feature of adaptive response is the production of very long lived memory cells. All vertebrate species show the presence of natural IgM and their levels are maintained in the individual even in pathogen free germ free environment suggesting that its production is due to endogenous stimuli and B1 cells have been found to be the source of this natural antibody. To secrete the natural IgM antibodies have been postulated to perform several functions such as removal of apoptotic cells, protection from infection and tissue homeostasis by clearing tissue breakdown molecules, 
Thus, nature seems to have selected this pool of natural antibodies during evolution of immune system as they exhibit very important immunoregulatory and housekeeping properties so that uncontrolled inflammation and autoimmunity does not develop. Antibodies not only serve as receptor molecules but also effector molecules when they change to soluble product. Receptor expressing B cells differentiated immunoglobulin secreting plasma cells by a change in RNA splicing. Immunoglobulin not only assists the functioning of a number of cells of immune innate immunity by interaction of their constant domain with receptors present on various cells but also confer a great regulatory potential to the overall functioning of the immune system by coupling innate and adaptive immune response. This has been achieved due to evolution of FCR. So CD8 plus T cells on being presented with antigen peptide in association with MHC class 1 get activated and cause lysis of cells affected with intracellular pathogen tumor cells by releasing granzyme or plus perforin. Complement protein antibodies of IgM class and some IgG subclass bind to microbial surfaces and are in turn recognized by C1 component of the complement resulting in activation of complement cascade. This results in the production of membrane attacker complex which causes pores in microbial cell membranes disrupting their integrity. Jawed vertebrates alone show molecules of the classical pathway. So factors for the alternative pathway and I MBL MAS mass of the lectin pathway have been reported in lower forms and have also been reported from invertebrates and lower vertebrates. Helper T cells secrete a large variety of cytokines with multiple factors playing a very critical role in regulating the immune response that can be seen. A late large variety of cytokines with multiple effects playing a very crucial role in regulating the immune response for instance lymphotoxin from TH1 cells promote development of B and T lymphocytes, IL2 from T lymphocytes stimulates proliferation of B cells and antibody production, IL4 from TH2 cells exhibits inflammatory response and promotes isotype switch to IgE in B cells and nephron gamma produced by TH1 cells activates B cells and macrophages as well as promotes expression of MHC class 1 molecules. Next evidence supporting whole genome duplication. It is now widely accepted that two rounds of WGD or whole genome duplication has occurred in the vertebrate genome after the appearance of urochordates and before the jawed vertebrates radiated. This is believed to have played a very important role in the evolution of adaptive immunity. Evidence of whole genome duplication comes from a number of studies. It has been reported that about 100 gene families of MHC parallel group are distributed in four sets of parallels. Genomes of invertebrates have only one MHC like region proto MHC and do not show class 1 and class 2 genes. Region of the neurotrophin paralogy group in humans contains natural killer complex and leukocyte receptor complex suggesting that ancestors of these genes were located in the proto MHC. Furthermore, all of integrated MHC neutrophin paralogy group in adaptive immunity is indicated by the fact that TAP capsaicin and three proteasome subunits 10 catapsins all playing a role in antigen presentation as encoded in this paralogy group. This whole genome duplication has allowed the generation of gene duplicates which then underwent divergence by accumulation of mutation conferring new functions to this processor. Although though after WGD these molecular features evolved rapidly in jawed vertebrates it has remained relatively uniform over the past 500 million years. Then applications Cytokine based therapies are being developed, for instance interferons, colony stimulating factors and IL-2 have been used clinically. Fish being commercially important, knowledge of fish MHC may be useful in aquaculture, vaccine development and selective breeding. MHC serve as an ideal model system to study genetic diversity in especially those wildlife populations facing extinction due to shrinking habitats. Now let's have a summary. WGD and invasion of RAG transposon into the genome of Gnathosinomes have been postulated to be instrumental in providing BCR and TCR based immunity, so called the Big Bang Theory. Basic components which led to the evolution of the adaptive immune system include appearance of lymphocytes, acquisition of mechanisms for diversification of antigen binding receptors, evolution of transcriptional and translational control mechanisms for restriction of expression of single receptors for specificity to an individual immune cell, receptor selection and clonal expansion, affinity maturation, and processes regulating immune response. Possession of ad adaptive immunity, which is basically an anti 
participatory kind of defense mechanism entails a number of problems or prerequisites such as development of tolerance to self curing lymphocyte differentiation failure of which results in autoimmunity furthermore to generate sufficient diversity of bcr and tcr individual must possess a large number of lymphoid cells thus necessitating a larger body size thus it appears that adaptive system could have been retained by natural selection only under compelling conditions the evolution of two branches of adaptive immunity humoral and cell mediated allows the host to deal efficiently with both extracellular and intracellular pathogens pathogen invasion strategies were the stimulate the evolution of newer functions of innate immune system components for instance evolution of fc receptors allowed igg and iga to work in optimization and adcc greatly enhancing the efficacy of immune response evolution of fc gamma receptors on nk cells allowed nk cells to target those virus infected cells whose mh class 1 expression had been down down regulated by the virus evolution of non classical msc molecules slag allows the fetus to grow in placental mammals without the allograft fetus being rejected so evolution of neonatal fcr or for igg fcr in on intestinal intestinal epithelium placenta and endothelium allows transfer of maternal antibodies to the fetus thus greatly improving survival of the newborn A thorough understanding of comparative immunology would provide a number of applications.